Well, hey guys and gals, backwaters and back roads here, obviously. So, we are in Port Orange, Florida, which you might remember was the last place that we got to on the Winter Beagle Escape a month or so ago. It was the farthest north I got, and then I had to turn around because of time. And I've decided that we're just going to launch here again and continue north up to St. Augustine and maybe beyond. Maybe St. John's River, maybe uh, Jacksonville. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to find up there? I've never been there. So I'm going to take you along with us. And uh, yeah, but quickly, I'm going to turn the phone around. I'm going to show you guys what I've done to the boat in the past few days. So after deciding that I'm going to keep it, at least for a while, I went ahead and got it registered back home in Minnesota until 2024. Put some numbers on it. These are just old numbers that I had to kind of fashion because <laughs> I don't want to spend the money. I'm, I'm frugal. That's what I call it, frugal. I got, let's see, what else I do? I put a Uncle Norm's dolphin fin on it, which has been recommended to me by a friend that I've made who also has a vagabond one of the other uh, 30 of them in existence and he swears that that um, helps a lot with the you know correcting all the time that this boat unfortunately because it has such a a short water line and the shape of it and the very small keel it um, it's always wanted to turn on its axis all the time and so you take your hand off the wheel and it just starts going into the weeds and it's, you know, it's a bummer, but I think that's going to help a lot. If it does, I'm going to be, it's money well spent. So, oh, let's see, what else did I do? I, I put in, oh, let's see, anything out here? Oh, yeah, I put the rack on. You guys might see that. Let me crawl up into the deck and I'll show you. So I put this roof rack on the roof um, just to carry the kayak and some odds and ends and just whatever things I pick up. Just keep it out of the way. I didn't want to put it on um, permanently uh, now. Uh, I'm probably gonna I don't have my welder with me because obviously it's at home But eventually uh, if you know this works out good I'm gonna weld some legs on it and bolt it to the roof But for now I just used some two by fours that I found in the back of the tractor supply And I lashed it on with rope and it actually is really it's on here tight You could lift this boat probably with this rack, so it worked out good and then the last thing I did was I installed the depth sounder. Now, I haven't tested it yet. This will be the first time here in a few minutes putting it in the water and hopefully it's working, but um, I'm assuming it does. And we will find out. So you guys might recognize this spot if you watch the, the other videos. I, uh, I parked the Vagabond right over there for a couple days. Kind of waiting out some rain and I'm gonna park it there again tonight and then take my truck back to the ranch and then Joan's gonna give me a ride back up here tonight so yeah and maybe you guys maybe I'll get a second chance to meet the shanty boat fella and you guys probably remember that <laughs> Sniff, sniff, sniff. like the depth sounders working yes and the motor started right up I have no choice but to leave my kayak here when I come back later to get to the boat someone has their dinghy here so I figure if I take the paddle it'll I don't know Gotta take some chances, I guess.
Oh, hi, I'm Wavy Gravy. I'm a YouTube star and I'm kind of lazy today, but I want to tell you about this channel I really like. It's called Adventuring with MK. If you like fishing and canoeing and kayaking and catching big fish and did I say kayaking already? Yeah, uh, kayaking and catching, well, little fish sometimes too, then you should go over and check out Adventuring with MK. She's a nice young lady who doesn't just goof around on TikTok, but actually does stuff in the real world. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay guys, here's our first night out, back on the ICW. Step outside and show you guys around here. So, I'm up in, uh, here I'll just turn the phone around. It's a lovely night, it's like nice temperature, even though it's overcast. Sprinkling here and there. I like these little coves. I'm going to kayak over to that dock there and then go take Wavy around this Riverside Park. And maybe go walk this bridge. I'm north of Daytona Beach, I think. And then, of course, I'm already seeing them, guys. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Another shipwreck. We might have to go paddle over there and at least take a look, if you're not sick of it yet. So, show you guys how this works in case someone hasn't been out on the water yet or been on the ICW. There's these low bridges and boats pull up. I actually think both of those didn't need this, but probably just being cautious. But they stop and they honk or they call and they open the bridge for them and they pull on through. What do you say, guys? You want to go over and check this out real quick? I hope you guys aren't bored with taking a closer look at modern-day shipwrecks yet. Because there seems to be an endless supply of them <laughs> on the ICW here. <laughs> okay, cool. Go ahead, go. Cool. Looks like this is an inhabited island. Wonder if anyone's home. Well, someone set up a little camp here on this island. I don't think anyone's in there. Anybody home? Keep hearing something over here. Well, can't say I blame a person if they were gonna. This is what I would do if I was gonna, I don't know, be quote unquote homeless. I just find a little island. All right, let's take a little closer look at this boat. He did it his way. New York, New York. Should we crawl up in there? It's actually a really eerie feeling in here. Like this boat is tipping over. I mean, like more than it already is. I think I'm gonna get out of here. It's a really strange feeling because when you go inside there, it feels like the boat is is tipping over, like all the way over. It's like an op it's like an illusion, even though I can tell it's you know it's grounded here, but. You go inside and it's like, you feel like it's going to fall over all the way. I'm 
You think this rubber ducky belongs to anybody? <laughs> Is anybody home? Just checking to see if anybody's in there and if you're okay and just passing by. Zip that door and you could have a gun in your face. Okay, well, if anyone's in there, have a nice day. Okay, up, up. Want to get up? Ready? Ready. Okay, go. Man, the conditions are just perfect today. It's like no wind. Nice and calm. Beautiful. You're lazy. You're lazy. How lazy you are. Oh, hey guys. I stopped on this random beach here. Looked like an inviting one. Lots of shells, too. Lots and lots of them. I am just south of, well, not just south. St. Augustine's up the way here, but we've been pretty much moving all day. <clears throat> I've just been kind of putting along at like five miles an hour and talking on the phone to a couple friends and stopping every once in a while. And before I knew it, I've made a lot of distance today. So I'm probably going to be stopping soon. Maybe walk into the store. Yeah, the life of a shanty boat captain. Maybe I'll try and pick up a couple shells here too. This is kind of cool, guys. I found this little inlet that cuts to the west off the intercoastal. And if, the, if it's deep enough, I can get almost over to Highway 1, I think. And there's a Publix grocery store just right there. So you can see I, I got over a bar right there that was about two feet, a little less than two feet. So let's see how this goes. Look how beautiful it is out here, guys. I am just south of St. Augustine. I actually think I'm in South St. Augustine in the Manson, Mansona River, I think is how you pronounce it, or M Mazelon River? I don't know, I will, I'll look it up. I'll, I'll put it right, I'll put it right there. Um, there's a, there's a little McGregor type sailboat that's in here too. Must be a swing keel or something, but, uh, and I've got some, there's some no CMs eating me up right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna launch the, I'm gonna launch the kayak and paddle right down to the bridge there and then walk down one and go to the Publix restock on a few things get maybe some treats I'm gonna have to leave her here because I don't trust put it, tying her up outside stores because someone will just come along and take her you know it'll happen and I, I, I would, wouldn't be able to live with myself so I'll leave her here but she's probably gonna cry so <laughs> okay guys I'll catch you soon I'm sorry you gotta no 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 you gotta stay come on go inside go inside I'm sorry you gotta stay. You're staying.
listen to this dog. She's crazy. She's so spoiled that I can't even leave her alone for a half an hour. She just, she's going to sit in there and go crazy the whole time I'm gone. And she starts up and she starts, it goes from some kind of bark to like a cry. Listen. She's still back there screaming. She's crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, who's that? 